Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to No Man's Sky, shall we? We're here on our water world, and we got a superheated storm coming in, which is the only thing that stops this from being just a tremendous planet otherwise let's get some nanites oh we got the geck word for friend we're learning a little geck here we'll take it all right and yeah might as well do this go ahead and just get rid of the fluids and we get some nanites Terrific. Okay. So, let me get inside. My ship. Okay. So, one of the things that uh, we are interested in... I do have an exosuit upgrade chart. Which seems like a, a thing to do. So, I'm going to use this right now. And when you use it, it usually, at least in my experience, it pretty much always will just put, show you a drop pod that's like nearby and on the world that you're at. I mean, this one is like absolutely, it, it's like two seconds away. That's so hilarious. So that's great. So we're going to land and get it. Now, I don't know if they can actually, I hope they don't show you one that you've already discovered before, but... Oh my goodness, look at this planet. Man, I mean, the superheated rainstorm is unfortunate, but look at the view. You've got this amazing grass. There's a beach here with these kind of like red palmish trees. And then in the sky, you just have this close-up ringed planet. Oh man, looks sweet. All right. So it is 208 degrees outside. Uh, which is a lot, but I'm going to go in here and check this out. What do you need? Nanotubes. Nitrate. What is this one? Antimatter housing. You got it. You want antimatter housing? I get you antimatter housing. What do you need? Oxygen? All right. Oh, we got a, a geode to break open. Let's just go ahead and bust it. Phenomenal. Okay. And uh, all I have to do is pulse my scanner to look for some O2. Here it is. Now, whenever you... Oh, look at this. Very good, very good. The idea that you want to have is I don't want to leave my ship because it's just so hot. And I don't want to get caught in the storm. But the storm will stop very soon. My thermal protection is getting wrecked. And that's okay. Alright. Um, oh, unidentified mi mineral. Not anymore. Alright. So, I'm going to just kind of head inside. I think in here I'm safe. I'll just let my protection charge back up. Now. Do do do. So there's all these great people who are on the YouTube comments for this series uh, just helping me out, clarify things, you know, sort out my No Man's Sky knowledge from the years and all of the changes Argamas, Dan, Jim come to mind from the recent video. And one of the things that people are saying is like, I already have a way to breathe underwater, which is awesome. I just kind of forgot that I even installed that. So I don't need anything extra. I can just go under the water. And man, this planet, when it's not the superheated storm, is just so awesome looking. You need to do a quest, I believe, to be able to construct like an underwater subnautica style base. So I can't do it yet, but... Uh, we'll get there. Now, I'm going to go get some O2 because I'm not leaving here without the inventory slot. I'll tell you what, unless there's something I don't know about, 
if you were to leave one of these drop pods and then go get another drop pod chart and you misplace this, finding it again is incredibly if difficult, if not impossible. So you want to make sure you get the upgrade before you leave because it's just a pain. All right, and... Oh, wrong thing. Give me my mining beam. There we go. There's a little oxygen. And, oh. Who hit me? Was it you? No. Who did that to me? It's good. That means there's oxygen around if somebody tagged me. There you are. I see you hiding there. Very clever. Alright, we got a little low too. A bunch of copper. I mean, that's sweet. I'm actually trying to hit the uh, hazardous guy, but okay. Now, I'll tell you what, actually. Let's see if I can finally get this right, because this was described to me, and I messed it up. But I'm going to go to this copper, and I'm going to use my manipulator. But you see how I have this beam, but you can use left bumper to... Yeah, here, right, left and right bumpers to basically make the beam larger. And so the smaller the beam, I think it takes longer, but it gives you more resources. So when you are using this, you can use this tiny beam to be sure that you are getting all of the copper. It just takes a longer amount of time. But if you use like this giant beam, you go as big as possible, it blasts away like a huge hole but it doesn't give you as many resources so it's like if you're trying i think and you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but the idea there and i'm just using r1 and l1 to change the size of my terrain manipulator in mining mode the idea is like if you're going for resources you want to use the fine beam to get the most it takes a little longer but you get the most from the node that you're at but if you want to just like if you're trying to tunnel or get through a space really quickly then you can use like the bigger one if you don't care as much about whatever it is that you're into so i'm using this like tiny beam you can see it does take me forever as i use this i think it must default to like a medium setting that's what it feels like to me we got a storm coming on, unfortunately. But look at me. How much copper do I have? Yeah, I have 552 copper, which is just so good because I need a ton of chromatic metal. So if I'm just, like, blasting away at this copper, you can see how much I'm getting. Now, look at that. That's 16. If I go to the biggest size... Oh, my weapon charge is depleted. How about that? I got some copper, but hardly any, and now the entire node is, like, annihilated. So, it makes sense, though, for me to want to go fast right here, because I'm standing in the storm. All right, I'll get back to my ship. That was great. So now we have a good amount of copper, and we also have uh, enough oxygen to upgrade our drop pod and move on. And again, this is just, like I keep saying, uh, at least for me, as a person who's easily distracted, this is No Man's Sky. There's just so much to do all around that it takes me a while to just focus on one objective and nail it. But we're going to get there. We're actually making amazing progress on it right now. So I'm going to uh, hit this. And now we're going to go back. Um, oh, I got to make the antimatter housing first. Right, 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 right. Okay, sure. I can do that. Antimatter housing. Now get the exosuit upgrade. Bam. And you got to use it after you do that. Don't forget. Use it. And then you have to say upgrade suit. How about that? Love it. 
there is very little I like in games more than upgrading my bag space because I'm a person who I don't like to do inventory Tetris and management a lot. So if I know that I just have like, you know, inexhaustible bags, interdimensional pockets, as it were, I'm very, very happy. Okay. Uh, boy, I didn't put gold on any of these. I thought I had. Maybe it was uh, on my multi-tool that I put the... Hmm. I thought I had already put gold on most of this stuff. That's kind of scary. You guys can let me know, but um, does it ever happen that, like, it will forget the progress that you have made if you do it partially? I don't know. Anyway, maybe I'm just misremembering. Uh, but I, I really thought that I had purchased and installed gold on all of these. If not, I'll just buy more gold or whatever. But anyway, um, now we're going to go up. And we're going to go to uh, the mission. Shapely forms to return to the agent. Going to head out. And the agent is over there. So I'm just going to kind of level off and go one, two, go. Let's see what they have to say about this. All right, hand in the mission. Now, you see how this is a GEC, and you can turn this into... I got this at a different station, um, but this will give me Viking standing and a storage augmentation, which is, like, so insane. And so what we want to do is not do these missions necessarily because most of this is like Gek standing and we want to we're focusing now on building up our relationship with one faction to progress the Artemis quest line so um, I'm not going to do that even though it's awesome and uh, now we got enough so we can consult the galaxy map and uh, we also got this right here so this is a storage augmentation and at the Starship Outfitter, we can use this to boost our Starship storage capacity. God, that's awesome. I love more inventory space. This is for our ship. All right, let me just go up here and see where we're at. So the Starship Outfitter is... That's not this one. It's this one? Yeah. Um, purchase upgrade modules. Oh, no, this is not the right person. Um, where is this starship outfitter? Are you on the other side? What does this say? Um, this is not the starship outfitter. Oh, no, this is the... Star it's not a person. It's just right here. Okay, great. Well, you learn something new all the time. Here's my ship. And I want to uh, claim the scrap and just get 6 million units for my ship. No, thank you. Um, I'm going to upgrade it. And we are going to apply the augmentation. Or you can purchase storage for 20 million units. Okay. Um, I'm going to do this and get myself some more inventory space. Is this my favorite ship in the game? No, it's not. But right now, I can't be a chooser. I'm like... 
just focusing on the fact that I have this A-class ship that we've done a lot of repair work on that has a good storage space. Um, and I can upgrade it if I want. And now to make to buy one slot without the module, it's 21 million units. Oh, boy. All right. So that's a mo uh, interesting. Now, at this point, I want to... Uh, I'm going to use the teleporter and go back to our base. I'm just going to check how we're doing on the refining of resources. Remember, we can always come back here. So I'm going to go to my base. All right, here we go. Now, we have a water planet potentially for some of our resource needs. And here we are in the desert dream. And let's check our refiners. How are you doing? Okay. Uh, you need some fuel. Here you go. And then can I just take this mold and put it over here? And then this is how you get the nanites. Finally, you need to get to runaway mold, and then we get nanites. Yes! All right. And then this refiner, I'm trying to interact with it. Um, there we go. Pure ferrite, good. Uh, we will put this... I need magnetized ferrite, and I need a pretty good amount of it. So go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to need another portable refiner. I think I was talking to... It might have been Argamas, I can't remember. Somebody who was saying, like, they have just, like four or five of these refiners that they always just deploy near their ship so wherever they are they're just always processing stuff instead of doing what i'm doing which is kind of like bouncing back to my base and doing it and that makes a lot of sense uh give me a refiner oh i need oxygen boy i might i wonder if i could just buy oxygen at some point It would be nice. I think you can uh, refine it, perhaps. There's a... Okay, yeah. Well, there's a hostile guy. This guy will give it to me. He doesn't mean to, but he will. All right. Fair enough. Can I make one now? I can. And this one is going 64%. And, oh, do you not have any um, fuel? Oh, no, it's all done. Okay, then. Great. Here, get, um, put the copper in here. And how much chromatic metal are you going to give me? A lot. Good amount. Great. Well, then I want to check my um, starship and just say, okay... Go ahead and put on all of this magnetized ferrite. Um, oh, now it's telling me it's repaired. Okay, maybe it was just bugged out where it's like I actually had to use it. Um... To, to make it remember what I had done. Okay, good. I was just like, boy, that seems weird. Like, I thought I put gold on all that. I did put gold on all that. Okay, good. Phew. It was just kind of like a glitch that it didn't remember until I clicked on it. Now everything has been refreshed. Fantastic. All right. Um, all right, how's the metal coming? I'm going to take some of it. And now we can go in here and let's just start cranking these out. One. 
Now, I want to do the inventory first. There we go. And this one actually takes a ton. Sadly. Multi-tool, all done. Starship. Needs some work. I'm going to do this one right away because I want my inventory as filled as it can be. I'm going to go to the uh, catalog. No, not the log. Um, minerals. Do, 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 do. Rare minerals. Activated copper. So, this says um, it's found on planets orbiting yellow stars. Okay. So we have to find this in a system. I don't know if I have seen that in any of the systems that I've been to. Um, let's check out this system. I've only been to this one world. Oh, so I haven't scanned these, so I don't know. This looks like a yellow star. Is the symbol in the center there showing me what color the star is of the system? Anyway, we can go back there and scan more stuff. Okay, let's look at this. Bam, nanites. Put those in the bag. And then... Give me the rest of that metal. Alright, beautiful. I'm actually going to pick this up. And uh, I'm going to pick this one up, too. I'm going to pick all of these up and then just take them with me so that I can deploy them wherever I'm at so I'm always processing. Like, I have all this slime and stuff. Might as well. But now we're going to just crush this. And now I have completely restored the interior storage, the cargo space of my uh, ship. And, and then we're going to change the name of it now. It's ready. It is ready. Incompetent rescue. This is a rescue ship. You know, people like rescue animals for good reason. And this is a ship that we rescued. Liberated. Man, it's awesome. And we can change the color of it if we like. But for now, I'm just so proud. Let's interact with this, see if anything new is happening. Um, you know, capture the screenshot. Looks good. And then upload the base. And it's uploading it, and then let's see if we can, you know, switch to the log and do base computer archives and see if this will do anything. Um, it says it's partially restored. Here we go. Alright, so for these, I think you just keep entering something. I'm like, honor. So much honor. And then, uh, you know, Herc is the Viking way. Uh, friend. Help me. Unlocked. All right, what did we get? Um, okay, search the archives. I glance back toward the wreck of my ship, nothing more than a dot, waiting this plane for hours, yet the mountains seem no closer. I look up to the sky. Um, blueprints, uh, okay. Let me see. We got exosuit technology. Personal upgrade module, synthesized. Um, okay. Uh, so we got a shield module. And we got the uh, teleport receiver from the base computer archives. Okay. Well, we need to just keep getting more and more. Uh, let's see what that meant for us. Build it. Alright, so... Hmm. This is pretty fine. Okay. Let me look at what we did get. 
so we ended up getting this uh, shield module, which will make us stronger. That's actually fine. I'll install it. Okay, whatever. Now, I don't know how you get more technology slots, but I I'd like them. You know, this is going to give us more core health and more shield strength if we need to fight sentinels or something like that. That's okay. And you can always take those out if you don't like what you got. Let's go up to space to uh, continue. Construct the teleport receiver. Install in an empty technology slot. Oh, in my ship? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, this allows you to get resources from a longer distance. Now, you can buy this from the Anomaly, I believe, but now we just got it, like, without spending nanites. We just need a bunch of, uh, you know, wiring looms. This is actually pretty sweet. It reduces our launch thrust further, and then this is like, hey, do you want a rocket launcher? And it's like, well, kind of, yes. So, uh, all of this we can install. Like, I can just drop this and then, you know, make this with some money. We'll have to work on making money in a moment. But for now, I'm going to go up into space and I'm going to consult the galaxy map and see where we need to go. So, for Argamas. Atlas Station. Um, is that where I want to go? No. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to go to Log, and I'm going to say, I want um, Alone Amidst the Stars. It says, uh, Life forms in this system should be analyzed to chart. Visit the life form. Okay. So they want me to, there's some kind of life form that they want me to visit, not the galaxy map. Okay, there it is, right there. So we're going to target this right here, and just bam, pulse it, go. There's also, a, looks like a ruin or a relic or something on this planet that I haven't obtained yet that I should. Okay, sure. Just a few seconds to arrive. Sweet. Making it. Okay. Nighttime arrival. Oh, nice. So we get to go here. Okay, this is cool. I'm just going to land at this trading post. Now, these are places where um, if you have the Atlas Pass at least level one, there's always on these landing pads uh, little pods like in the corner there that you can interact with. But even if you don't have it, Um, like, you see these guys, these canisters need Atlas Pass level 1, but these are just free. You can search these and, you know, see if you get anything good. Like a Gek Relic. I mean, that's like a $20,000 find right there. Uh, credit find or whatever. And a Viking Effigy. Alright, so, for example, like this dude right here, uh, cadet, you can talk to him. This guy. Hey, what's up? And uh, we can see what he's got trading. I feel like, don't I need Pugnium for something? Or did I? Maybe I bought enough of that. Maybe I don't need that. Uh, can I sell you something? Do you want anything of mine that's, like, real good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, it looks like a lot of what I have... Oh, he sell... Yeah, the dirty meat. Buy that, please. 
I'm not incredibly wealthy right now, uh, so I would need to do more, like I said, money-making ventures, but that's okay. We know how to do that. All right. Now, I want to talk to... Uh, I've already visited this guy. Oh, I've already been to this place. What's up? Have you reconsidered? Oh. Um, I want to, but I don't have a place for you. I'm sorry. Dude, I w uh, yeah, I'd love to have you on board. Okay, this is the one I need to talk to. But, I'll tell you what I can do. I think I could talk to this dude right here. I've already visited him. I've already learned the words. But watch this. I can give this guy a Viking effigy. And he's like, thank you so much. And when you do that, it just raises your standing with the Viking. Uh, so I like doing that if I can, just instead of the money. Because the reputation is invaluable. You want these Viking on your side. As I approach the life form, they spit onto their own palm and bow to me. They issue only a single noise. Gra. It is unclear if Artemis's translator is working. Spit and bow to the life form. Gra. Death. Death. Uh. Okay. Calm down. He barks. I spit and bow, emulating his motions. They scream, withdraw a dagger from a holster at their side, and slice open their own palm. They laugh at me, offering the dagger. All right, dude. Blood packed. Copy him. Grimacing, I run the dagger along my palm, the little blood emerging through my exosuit. The hole quickly seals itself. He finds it hilarious. He's like, I was just doing it as a joke. Ah, uh, interloper actually did it. Thinks it is Viking, thinks it's a warrior. What do you want? Take this star chart. I ask him to decode it. What is this nonsense? This location does not exist, or the Viking would know. Um, ask if they could have made a mistake. He does not like it. He just keeps saying, death, death. I apologize and leave. Okay, that did not work. Um, I almost got killed by a Viking. He made me slice my palm open as a joke. Thank you so much, Artemis. I appreciate it. And my starship's out of range, but what do we need for this? Uh, oh, we can upgrade some of this with chromatic metal. Wiring looms for this and antimatter. To craft antimatter... Uh, oh, I can just craft it right now. What you got? How much for a wiring loom? How much are you going to rip me off? Oh, they aren't selling it here. Um, that's fine. They're easy to get on the space station. Okay. So in the, in the meantime, let's just get back to our ship and pretend that never happened. This guy ruined my palm. What's that green? Ammonia. It is ammonia. All right. I'm never coming back to that place. Unless I want the warrior, which I do. How far is this away? Ancient ruin. Have I been there? Let's go into space then. Artemis, where do you want me to go? Artemis. Incoming message. Talk to it. There you are. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. I, that would be great, but we have a problem. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Uh, the Viking was mad. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Um, how'd you get there? As I speak... The line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis, Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out in... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... It's quiet at first, but there it, it is there. Unmistakable. Growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words. A sound as if glass could scream. Yikes. Um, what's happening? They're coming for me. I can see them. Smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal traveler, a gateway between worlds. 
I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now, I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I was so wrong. I, I could see their faces. There are seeds of glass within there. Uh, what glyph are you talking about? They're gone. My data fragmented in the... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't... 16. Warn your face. It... Please, not yet. I'm not... The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Register that ID. It's been added to my contacts. All right. All right, bring news of Artemis's signal loss to Nada. Okay, I will. I am going to go see, just uh, check this ancient ruin. I think I've probably already been here, but if I have, I want to get it off of my waypoint list. I don't want this to keep yelling at me. Ancient ruins are great, though. It's just such a fantastic way to... Uh, here we go. Learn a little bit. Land here at the ruin. Crash. All right. Wow. All right, we got our destination. And we can go up here, climbing, climbing to explore. And this is the ruins of Pavasi, uh... Kill. Here's a knowledge stone. This is what I'm talking about. So we got the Viking verb B. And then this thing. Ancient knowledge. None hamper the path toward Drindar as the sentinels. They must be destroyed. Their time will be ended. So has it been written. So shall it come. This the Vikings swear. Uh, can you help me out with some Viking language? We got... The letter A. You're darn right. Now, sometimes there's more knowledge stones at these. Um, there's that one. Let me just kind of quickly glance around to see if I missed anything. Yeah, there's one down here. So, usually with these kind of relic places, you're going to get, you know... Or ruins, you're going to get three or four words out of it, which is fantastic. That is ammonia, ammonia, uh, sodium, okay, copper, fantastic. So we need to go to the space station, or the anomaly, rather. Let's go. We're getting good. We're learning a lot of Viking language. All right, now, once we get into space, we can just push down, and you can actually just summon the space anomaly. It's, it's one of these options, and you just need to put it someplace that it can go. Uh, here, let me get a little further away. planetary interference. So I'm too close. So I need to get even further away. Let's move away. There it goes. And then you, when you summon it, it like teleports in super fast. It's awesome. And then we can go in here and do all the, you know, multiplayer hub stuff. Awesome. Okay, so from here, we need to talk to Nada, which is in the middle. You could see all the other players just chilling. And let's see if we have any good news for this person. Did I give you, got some more stuff for you? Hey! 
here's my planet data. And we got, um, you know, 45 nanites for what we know. So that's pretty good. Uh, what's up? All right, let's go over here. Okay, nada. What have you learned, Traveler? What generates Artemis Entity's signal? Mention the portal. I tell Nada how we fail to understand Artemis's location. I explain their strange messages, Apollo, and the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they process this information. Artemis slips between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable. Small. Nada is worried, Traveler. Cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis Entity still does not remember Nada? I don't. This is a puzzle, a trap, or a tragedy. Apollo Entity is unknown to Nada, more puzzling still. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas Falsity. Other Corvax say deity. Nada knows better. Atlas False Entity hunts Nada, but Traveler may seek them out, draw them away. Uh, search for Artemis and Apollo. Polo holds coordinates for black holes and Atlas stations. Travelers Helos and Ares supply nanite, nanites. Right. Um, so, Polo. What's up? Boundaries are strange things, Traveler friend. Most things stay where they belong. Other things are home. Atlas and now Artemis friends slip between. Um, what about portals just devices to be understood copied advanced that is all we can do with this universe yes appreciate it okay yeah fair enough um what about uh might we all fall somewhere strange like artemis friend maybe we already have um what about atlas station i will do it friend but please be careful we would hate to see you leave us okay um and in this, the log, I can uh, purchase technology blueprints or new base ports along aboard the anomaly. Undertake missions with other travelers or exchange discoveries. Right. So I've kind of done that already, but uh, let's get some more stuff. So, oh, oh, wrong way. Over here. There's a bunch of stuff that I want. So for my starship, for example. I can be like, what's up? Wings of glory. Let's see what upgrades you got. So we definitely want... I have a lot of nanites. So we could buy... Make our pulse engine more efficient, which is cool. Um... Conflict scanner, economy scanner. Yeah, I want the emergency warp unit. I hate when I can't warp because I'm being blocked, so that seems cool. We can reach red class stellar bodies. Yep, buy that. Great. Let's buy some more stuff. I will also buy, uh, okay, all of these things are actually pretty good. Green stellar bodies, uh, give me the emergency warp for sure. All right, what else can you give me? Hmm. And I can buy different weapons. Ah, we can block the cargo scans. Okay, yeah, give me that. We want to be a smuggler, right? We got to get rid of it. K-1 
counterfeit circuits. That's so funny. Um, okay, so I'm not going to necessarily buy that at the moment. My exosuit's pretty full. Construction research station. Let's see. What can we build here? Prefabs. Um, oh, I don't have the modules. Right. You got to come here to purchase these things with all these modules. Like if I want the landing pad, it's right here, but it's 10 salvage data. So we need to get a whole bunch of salvage data to get all this sweet stuff to make a geo bay. So we could get, you know, this is a deep water base. I think you can earn these for free, maybe doing quests. I'm not sure about that. And uh, multi-tool research. Well, my, my multi-tool has plenty of empty slots. So what you got? More power. Let's see what you got. Uh, yes, I want more power. You got that right. Cloaking device. Um, voltaic amplifier. Okay, optical drill. Um, just gives you plus 50% resources. I mean, we don't have these items, but that's so good. The idea that I could get 50% more resources when mining is really exciting. And what else you got? Uh, survey device. real-time terrain analysis oh interesting that sounds fun all right I will get uh, this survey device because it sounds cool sweet and synthesis laboratory learn new product recipes oh so I could craft more stuff look at this um, I could just craft microprocessors without... Oh, that's great. Oh, here's the Atlas Pass. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we want this. Now we can just make the Atlas Pass. And let's get uh, level two as well. Perfect. All right. Um, what else do we want that I feel like, you know, we have to get sometimes? Uh, I know microprocessor seems useful. All right. Fantastic. Yeah, this is super exciting. Okay. So I'm not going to use all of my nanites. I'm going to save some just in case. But I'm pumped. All right. So we just got a, the ability to craft Atlas Passes. We proceeded on the Artemis quest line. And now um, we're doing incredibly well. Learn an industrial unit. Um... Oh, if I have the survey device, right, right, right. Well, I don't have that now. Uh, and we need to locate a hollow terminal to talk to Apollo. And that's what we'll get into next time. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing all of your tips about the game to create this resource guide for new players so that they might enjoy the experience and see all of the things that this great game has to offer once you get into it and can pick apart and understand the individual components. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care.